this record as frequently as possible. Hey everyone, it's me Mr. G. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to episode 9 of Pickups of the Week, a weekly show where every Sunday we look at all the games I found out in the wild, going into my collection, going into the game room. So before we start this video this week, I just have to do a shout out to all the new subscribers to my channel. I do have a whole bunch of new people that have joined my channel. I have a whole bunch of people that have left really positive comments, telling me how much they enjoy my videos, how I'm inspiring people to go out and collect. Um, there was a guy called CS Games who left the comments saying that he's now inspired to start collecting. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't like your comment, dude, or uh, write on it for some reason, but there are a lot of people who have subscribed to my channel now, and everybody is enjoying the videos, and that is really, really cool. I'm really glad that everybody's enjoying these videos, and I'm inspiring people I never thought it would come to that but it's really really cool <clears throat> so anyway let's get into the video so I wasn't even gonna make a video this week um, I found nothing out in the wild this week I found nothing on Facebook marketplace I found nothing on offer up um, and I had found nothing in the thrift stores and I had such a crazy Saturday it was insane I got so many scores on Saturday it was crazy um, so anyway um, I went to my old job and my boss asked me if there was any chance I could help them out at the job because they're getting busy again so I said yeah that's cool man I'll come help you out guys up for sure so I went on Saturday and I went to help my old boss at my old job and I worked there for the day just to help them out with everything and the goodwill that I always talk about at my job that I always get stuff at not once but twice that I found some cool stuff there that day and I also got another score so anyway um, let's have a look at everything I found this week let's jump into it <clears throat> so before we get into my pickups um, I did add another game a complete in box Nintendo 64 game to my collection as you all know I'm trying to go for the complete set of the the Nintendo 64 in box and that game I added was Pokemon Puzzle League um, so the story behind this is uh, the guy had listed on eBay the box and booklet for eight dollars and I looked at it and I was like wow eight bucks for the box and booklet that's crazy so I went ahead and bought it and I was like damn that's crazy I can't believe I got it for eight dollars anyway it arrived in the mail and I opened it up and I looked at it and I was like oh what the hell so I went to the listing. I didn't read the listing properly, unfortunately. There was a reason it was so cheap, and that was because it had a little bit of the uh, front cover missing. There's a little part missing from the thing, unfortunately. Um, it's not a train wreck, but it is. I mean, you can see it's damaged, but still, I did get the complete box and booklet for Pokemon Puzzle League. I already had the cartridge, so I have another Nintendo 64 game going into my collection to, for my complete box Nintendo 64 collection. Pretty cool. Okay, then we get to Saturday. So I went to work, I helped my boss at work on Saturday, and I went to the Goodwill on my very first break in the morning, and I walked in, and this is what I found. Here's the video. Yeah, so there was a whole shelf of games. Most of them weren't that great, but the guy was actually wheeling out a cart as I got there, and he had some PlayStation 2 games on the cart. So I grabbed the PlayStation 2 games, and I actually got quite a few games from the uh, from that cart. So these are the ones going into my collection. Um, Burnout Revenge. I've been looking for Burnout Revenge for a while, so that's going into my collection. Uh, Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. That's going into the collection. Uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. That's going into the collection. I don't have that one. And Crash Nitro Cards. I don't have that. So that's going into the collection. And then these ones I bought and I listed them on eBay. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Jewelist of Roses. Uh, that's on eBay. Uh, and then a whole bunch of Harry Potter games. Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban and Harry Potter and the Goblets of Fire. So there were a whole bunch of Harry Potter games and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh's games. Those are going on eBay. If I don't sell them e on eBay, I'm gonna take it to the game store I always go to on Sunset and do some trades. And then I did find another random game, Star Wars, The Knights of the Old Republic. Um, I bought it, but I already actually owned it. I didn't realize, so that's on eBay at the moment. So that was the first score of the day on Saturday. I found something at Goodwill. I mean, I told you I'd never find anything at Goodwill. So I found that at Goodwill in the morning. And then when I was at work, 
um, I always talk about these guys that used to come into my work and they always used to sell me games. So anyway, one of the guys that I used to see all the time, he came in with a whole bag of games. And I was like, oh, well, this is crazy. So anyway, I have a video for that too. Here you go. So you want 30, right? Yeah. Oh, man. I'll give you 30. Oh, okay, 30. yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go, man. Thanks, man. Okay. If you have more, bring them. Okay. Okay, thanks. Oh. Yeah, did you see that? I got a whole stack of games for $30. I couldn't believe it. So cool. The guy came in and he bought me this whole stack of games. For 30 bucks and there was some really really cool stuff in here so anyway let's just go through everything i have here because it's crazy so this is what's going into my collection from the stack um for the xbox one halo the master chief collection i've actually wanted this for my collection for quite a while it's still a 30 dollar game at gamestop so that was in the lot so i'm really stoked to have that batman 3 beyond gotham for the xbox one it's going into collection that's really really cool uh blaze blue calamity trigger for the xbox 360 uh dead space 3 for the xbox 360 uh soul caliber 5 remember i bought this from the game store for the ps3 the other day and i found it from this guy so that's going in the collection and the last one for the collection which i thought i had but i didn't is uh halo wars so i now have every single halo game there is um so there was six games going into the collection from that lot and then these I'm going to take to GameStop today to pay off my Amiibos because these are actually worth quite a bit of money and I already own these. Halo 5 Guardians, uh, that's still an $8 trade. I'm taking that to GameStop today. Grand Theft Auto 5 for the Xbox 360 has gone up crazy. It's a $9 trade at GameStop now, so I'm taking that. And then the original Call of Duty 1 is also a $9 trade at GameStop. So I'm taking these three games to GameStop today, and I'm going to get about $25 trade credit, and I'm going to pay off my Amiibos, which is really, really cool. So that was another bunch of games in their lot. And then these are the ones I have listed on eBay to make my money back. Uh, Just Dance 2015, I have that listed on eBay. Uh, Halo Anniversary Edition, which I've already sold. I've got to mail it out tomorrow. Um, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 3, that's on eBay. And Splintered Cell Blacklist, I have listed on eBay. So I have four games from that list listed on eBay that I'm going to make my money back. And then these are just the ones that aren't really worth money and I already own that I'm going to take to the game store and do a trade. Uh, once again, I got The Evil Within. That's like the third time I've got this game now. Can you believe it? So I'm taking that to the game store. Burnout 3 Takedown, I'm taking to the game store. Uh, Borderlands 2. Halo 3 ODST. And American Chopper for the original Xbox. So I'm taking all those to the game store to do a trade. So I got this whole stack of games for 30 bucks games going into collections games making money on ebay games going to gamestop and games doing trades at the game store that was such a crazy score on saturday i couldn't believe it really really cool i hope this guy brings me more stuff because i'm going to be helping out probably most saturdays at, at my old job just helping out so that was another crazy score on saturday and then at the very end of the day after work i decided to go back to the goodwill again and have a look and see if they had anything else and at the very end of the day they actually had another thing here's a video for that Yeah, so they had Xbox One games sitting there. I couldn't believe it. Uh, right behind the counter, there's a whole bunch of Xbox One games. So I had so many Xbox games on Saturday. It was crazy. And these were what they were. Once again, I mean, Halo Master Chief Collection. I've been looking for this game for my collection for so long. And I found two copies in one day. It's crazy how life is like that. Anyway, um, I listed it on eBay. I already sold it this morning. Um, this is going to be shipped out tomorrow. I sold it for $25. So I basically made my money back already for everything I bought this weekend. So I've sold that on eBay for $25. Uh, Recall. Um, I already have Recall, but I don't have the original box. So I'm going to add this original box to my collection. And I'm going to take the disc and take it to the game store. And then Rise of the Tomb Raider. I mean, this is one of my favorite games ever. Um, I don't own it physically, so that's going to my collection. So, that's all the games I found on the week. On one day, on Saturday, I found all that stuff. I got that pickup from the guy. 
found a whole bunch of stuff from Goodwill. I couldn't believe it. It was so cool because I wasn't even going to make this video this week. And it ended up being really, really cool. Ended up picking all the stuff for my collection, stuff for eBay, stuff for GameStop, and stuff to trade for the game store. So I'm probably going to get some more Box N64 games this week. I'm going to take all my trades on Tuesday. So that ended up being pretty cool. Um, episode 9 actually did come about. I wasn't going to film it because I didn't find anything. But I actually did it on the last day of the week. Really, really cool. So that was my video for the week. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed it. I hope all my new subscribers enjoyed it as well. Um, it's really cool making all these videos every week. It's really cool finding stuff. So anyway, give my video a like, subscribe. I'm Mr. G. I'm out.